Hello, Scorpio. This is your reading for September 2019. The energy is coming in for Scorpio. Hopefully positive energies. But um, as you know, this may not resonate with all Scorpios. Just letting you know. Thinking about past failures, past work, past situations that didn't work out. That was a Seven of Pentacles that tried to jump out. But I don't necessarily always count them. But I need a beginning of... Uh, a full Celtic cross reading new energies for Scorpio, September 2019. The energy's coming for Scorpio. Let's see what the beginning energy is. You know, I do always look for a positive reading, but sometimes, you know, that doesn't happen. And we'll work it out. We'll work through it and see what we can do about it. No longer holding back on things, maybe spending more money. Maybe you don't have enough coming in. That that would explain that earlier uh, seven of pentacles, but this is the four of pentacles in reverse. So we're going to see what's going on. Subject at hand, dealing with the knight of rods. This could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. In reverse, so someone noncommittal, someone all over the place, someone short-tempered. Could be anything. Could, you know... Be a fire sign, like I said, and you need to make a choice on something or decide on something because it's like you're in limbo. You're trying to hold on to two different things uh, because w even though you're going for one thing, the other one is still like a, a safe safety net. So you need to release one in your life and maybe it has something to do with the Knight of Rods. There's that Seven of Pentacles. That's uh, before it showed it in the kind of in the upright, or it did, it was in the upright. But this is a Seven of Pentacles again in reverse. Is somebody, usually in the upright, someone thinking about past failures, but maybe you're going to put it away from yourself. Maybe you are going to do something. Maybe you are going to make a choice. We'll find out. And once I start clarifying, I'll change up the story, make it real interesting. So bear with me. There you are, Scorpio, in the upright, King of Cups, you know. And you're looking good, and your and your emotions are going to start uh, becoming more balanced. You're sure of yourself. You know what you want. For some of you, you could be dealing with another water sign. It could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. The past, King of Swords in reverse, dealing with somebody with sharp words. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Not, not necessarily. Just someone with sharp words. Someone that um, really is unhappy if you if they're in a, you know a bad mood. Or it could be somebody not feeling well, but their words, like I said, are sharp. And I think that's what you're dealing with. And also the fact that you may have to make a choice. And you're you're saying, well, I don't think I want to deal with the past failures anymore or something that um, did not work out. And you may be getting a little, um, some negative messages from people, but you're keeping it cool. You're keeping it cool. Near future, yeah, you're definitely keeping it cool. Cool. Um, some of you may be dealing with a Libra. I'm getting some of the same cards. I shuffle these a lot, even before turning on the video and concentrate on the sign I'm doing. But the Emperor is in the very near future. Someone taking control, someone ruling well. Doing things well, making decisions that are lasting and stable. So, like I said, we'll clarify and I'll let you know. Becoming unchained from a situation is a possible future outcome or advice from the universe. Um, you know, let things go that, that you don't want in your life or that tie you down. You know, with the devil in reverse. What is coming towards you? Oh, king of rods. Yeah, the knight of rods there. I wonder if that's the same energy. Knight of Rods in reverse, someone with a very short temper that's going to let you know something. But you're, like I said, you're keeping it cool so far. Your hopes and fears, and I do believe this is your hopes. You're just wanting a happy environment, a happy home. Come home to and, and be relaxed and not have things bother you with the Four of Wands and the Upright. Outcome, Knight of Cups. Yep, you're keeping your cool. Whatever's going to happen, let's see what, why everybody's upset. But whatever's going to happen, it's no, you know, skin off your back. But let's find out what's going on. You're definitely going to be aggravating other people, though. I don't know why yet, but Knight of Rods. 
In reverse, two of wands, crossing it, why are you there? Or Scorpio. Hierophant over contracts, broken contracts, it looks like. For some of you, it could be a marriage. For some of you, it could be a job. So someone's aggravated that you may actually make a decision and do something, you know, something else or make a decision on something you want to do. And someone may be upset. And I'm seeing like this a lot for the Libra reading, to be honest with you. Some of you may be having a lot of Libra. Maybe you have Libra in your chart somewhere. It's dominant. But, and also some of you may be dealing with a Libra. So Knight of Rods. In reverse, two of wands crossing it. The Hierophant in reverse is a subject at hand. Why are you there for, I almost said Libra, Scorpio. Why are you there for Scorpio? The chariot, something comes to a halt, yeah. Something comes to a halt, but you're not sweating the hard, you know, you're not sweating this. You're not sweating anything. So a lot of this is going on around you. You may know a Libra that's going through something like this, too. I didn't even think of that. But what crowns you or your goal is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, I already told you that. Let's find out what it is, what's going on with it, though. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Why are you there? For Scorpio. Page of Cups. Yeah, you're not going to sweat the messages. You're not even going to consider. Someone's going to send you like a, an emotional message with the Page of Cups in reverse. But I don't see you even worrying about it too much. I don't. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. Why are you there for Scorpio? Scorpio don't care. Yeah, they got their hopes on something else. They're, they're, they, Scorpio is thinking on other things, you know, and they're not even considering chaos around them. They're not even going to pay attention to it. It's not worth it. So the King of Cups as the foundation, and I told you that, could be a water sign. Could be you. King of Cups in the upright. Great card to have in the upright. Why are you there? Yeah, you may walk away from something doesn't matter how much I shuffle. You may be walking away from something, Scorpio. You may say, uh, I'm not doing this drama. Bye. So, King of Cups, Eight of Cups, both in the upright as a foundation for Scorpio. Why are you there? Yeah, because you're just not happy with the way they're acting. So, you may say, like I said, say bye. You're not going to let it get to you. In the past... And this is for September, so it may not have happened yet. Remember, we're on a different timetable a little bit. For some of you, this may have already happened. For others, it will be happening in September. And others, maybe a little after. Okay? It's just the way cards do. Tarot is not the same as straight astrology, by the way. So, the King of Swords in reverse. Why are you there in the past for Scorpio? Why are you there in the past? If someone's really disappointed in a situation with you, the um, King of Swords is, is disappointed, or you're disappointed in them with the Five of Cups. You're saying, oh, I cannot believe this. So the King of Swords in reverse, Five of Cups in the upright. Why are you there for Scorpio? What's going on? The moon, yeah, something comes out and someone's really disappointed. Like I said, you could be disappointed in, in the uh, King of Swords or they could be disappointed with you if you go vice versa. And the very near future, you got the Emperor. Some of you may be dealing with the Aries. But again, this is someone who rules well, makes a final decision. The decision is right. Even though it comes across a kind of bossy and controlling it is the right decision whatever is being made so the emperor in the upright why you there in the very near fu future for scorpio knight of cups maybe that's you yeah making a decision about the situation over here and moving forward over there into the future and a very good future it may be now, the Emperor in the Upright, the Knight of Cups in the Upright, in the very near future for Scorpio, why are you there? And yes, I'm mean, literally asking a separate question. Some of you may be dealing with another water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, got the Queen of Cups in reverse there. But I also see you, for some of you, walking away from an over-emotional situation that you just don't want it to be bothered with. 
because the Knight of Cups comes first. What's clarifying it? Why is the Knight of Cups there moving this way? Because of the Queen of Cups. Could be an over-emotional situation walking away from it. It also could be walking away from another water sign, possibly, but not necessarily. For some of you, a water sign, you know, another water sign could be walking away from you. But it depends. It really does. But I see the majority of you just not letting, you know, not sweating the small stuff. Now, possible future outcome or advice from the universe. You got the devil in reverse. Breaking free from something, becoming unchained possibly. It really depends on the next card. It could be actually being stuck too. It depends on, like I said, the next card. So, the devil in reverse while you're there for Scorpio. Yeah, you're becoming unchained by that King of Swords. I think you're going to let that go. King of Swords is, you know, getting on you. And you're saying, I'm letting this go. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Not, not necessarily, though. Just someone with sharp words. The Devil in Reverse. The King of Swords in Reverse. Why are you there for Scorpio? as a possible future outcome or advice from the universe. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're definitely unchaining yourself from... Uh, swords type energy that you really just do not want in your life or you don't want the negativity of it you could be just dropping negativity and saying stop all this negative bs that could be it too maybe you with the emperor you're taking a stand you know but the king of rods is coming towards you and it is in reverse so i'm a very short temper usually non-committal um here there everywhere but where you want them to be or are they just not feeling well? Let's find out. King of Rods in reverse while you're there for Scorpio. Coming towards them or the outside environment. Yeah, someone's trying to regain strength. It could be someone that's ill. I didn't even th It looks that way. They could be ill. They're probably regaining strength. Needing to regain strength. Mm, I'm going to need another card. This person could be ill and they're trying to get better. Or maybe they're going to tell you they're going to be trying to do better by you, but you may not, you know, deal with them still. Well, I need another card. King of Rods in reverse, the strength card in the upright. So what is coming towards Scorpio or the outside environment? What is causing all this somewhat? Yeah, someone, I, someone wants to regain strength with you. I've been seeing that a lot in Scorpio. This is someone who's not feeling well. They might have went through something. I'm, I'm feeling that intensely. They are recovering, but they also want to recover a certain situation with you. They're going to say, can you work with me on this with the Six of Pentacles in the upright? They're wanting to negotiate. Are you going to get negotiate? You know, I've asked this question before. Some said yes. Others said, hell no. You know, the last few readings. Now, what you're wanting, you're wanting your abode. You're wanting your happy home. You're wanting contentment. You're wanting peace with the four of wands and the upright. You're wanting a complete um, satisfaction in your life. And it's something of a hope and a fear. And I'm thinking that you're hoping for this. And it's also manifestations. So four of wands in the upright while you're there for Scorpio. And the hopes and fears and manifestations. Yeah, you were hoping for a more stable home. Because at one time, or right now, it may not have been stable with the ten of pentacles. It's not completed yet, this happy home, but you're wanting to complete this happy home. For some of you, maybe building a home. So four of wands in the upright, ten of pentacles in reverse. Why are you there? For Scorpio. For some of you may want a home, but you feel a little trapped by something, but you're moving forward. I see you moving forward, but you feel like you can't break free from something. With the eight of swords in the upright. Hmm. You can leave it in the comments. Are you going to break free? Are you going to stay where you're at? But if you want to, you can break free. I'm seeing that. In the end, you got the Knight of Cups. And I, this is one of my favorite cards. I always love the Knight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You know, I don't assign one zodiac sign. But this is a loving um, energy. And I see if it's not you, is somebody offering you something. Or you're going to offer somebody something that is something... Pretty beautiful. That'll that'll be emotionally accepted. Or this could be you that has arrived in your life and is going forward to the things you love. You know? So Knight of Cups in the upright while you're there for Scorpio in the very end. 
of September. Yeah, you're moving forward pretty quickly, too. I have a feeling this is going to happen in September, all of it. That's unusual. So the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Wands, which is a very quick energy. It means movement, quick movement. For some, it could be travel. For others, it could be messages. It's just movement. It's quick. It's quickness, you know, with a passionate energy. So Knight of Cups in the upright, Eight of Wands in the upright is the final energy for Scorpio while you're there. Yeah, you may move away from the Knight of Wands <laughs> from the or from um, short temperedness or someone, or you may be, now that I think about it, not necessarily moving away because we got the Eight of Wands there in the upright. You may be actually conversing with this person. They are coming towards you. So in the end, you are going to be dealing with a fire sign. Even though you're walking away from something and making a conscious... I'm seeing two different situations here. You're walking away from something, a contract, relationships, job, whatever it is. You may have found out something or someone found out about you or whatever. It doesn't matter. Someone gets disappointed someone walks away. But someone else is coming towards you. Something else is coming towards you. A person, possibly a fire sign. Someone with a short temper, possibly someone not feeling well. They are regaining strength or wanting to regain strength with you or both. And they're wanting some give and take, you know. And all you're wanting to do is be happy. And um, you haven't reached your overall financial stability, but you're going for that. But something's trapping you up. And you can leave that in the comments with the Eight of Swords. But I do see you conversing with that Knight of Wands in some way. It's just the way it, it, I'm reading it. And again, it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone not feeling well, someone with a quick temper, someone noncommittal. You are going to be associating with them. You may even offer them something, maybe because they're sick. So you, some of you may be dealing with somebody who is sick, under the weather, not able to function as well as they should, and they're, and they're saying... Um, they need some give and take. And with the, also with the Six of Pentacles over here, sometimes somebody helps somebody, you know? It's, it's a good, good card to have. In the end, temperance in reverse. I'm feeling someone's unbalanced. I don't think it's you. I'm seeing you too much in the upright here taking control. But you are going to be dealing, talking with somebody who's having a little uh, trouble keeping things going. So you got two different separate situations going in here. Like I said, for some of you, you're going to break contracts, chaos. You're going to say, it's no sweat off my back. See ya. Don't want to be ya. Taking control. But at the same time, you're talking to somebody on the outside. Maybe, that, maybe you know, something occurred. Maybe somebody in your life doesn't like you talking to this person. I don't know. It'd be different for everybody. But I do see the Knight of Cups having messages, and even offering something to a Knight of Wands energy. And, and no, the Knight of Wands isn't always mean, but they can be. But they also can be not feeling well. Like as Temperance does say, they, they may not be able to feel well or not be able to, I don't know, they're having trouble with something. But this is your reading, and I'll... I'm going to try to be given um, the bonus readings like I've been promising everybody, but I've been going through some stuff. And I'm going to try to get everything started and get going. So if you like this reading, you know, you can hit the subscribe or, or and stand um, and wait for the next reading, a bonus reading or mid-September's reading. And I'm going to let this go and I will talk to you later. But remember, you got someone coming on the outside that you may be helping. Bye.